The film crew of Hollywood uh, is a wonderful celebratory uh, look at the classic age of Hollywood between 1950 and 1985, the pre-CGI stuff when everything was either physically or mechanically done in the camera or in a plate process or in a rear projection process. It was hands-on photography and movie making. It's really, really a wonderful book and it's so rich and there's so much photography in here. Although a lot of this is, is not your photography, it's vintage photography. Of course. These were photographs taken by grips and electricians and makeup guys and people who were in the crew, below the line people with nobody behind them telling them don't shoot that. And what these pictures give you is they give you a wonderful connection with your subjects. When you show them these photographs, they have memories that they otherwise wouldn't come up with. It shows you the texture of the work. It shows you that it's not glamour. This is work we're doing here in Hollywood. It's, it's glamour on E.T. tonight when people are walking the red carpet, but what a grip and a DP does, it's bloody hard work. You know, Jim, that's one of the things I love about your book. There's a there's a story on every page. So would you mind sharing a few of those with us? I'd love to. When they were shooting Bullet, Peter Yates and Bill Fraker talked about what they really wanted in Bullet. And the thing they really wanted was great action shots of Steve McQueen doing this driving in this Mustang. They were at the Oakland Bay Bridge, and there was a camera position in the front of the car for a Fraker built so he could pan and the driver. And there was no speedometer or anything like that. It was a pure out race car, basically. And the only way Fraker could tell how fast they were going was by the whine of the wheels. Now, they'd been going 70 miles an hour, 80 miles an hour. Now, at one point, they were going so fast on one of the takes that Fraker couldn't pan the camera because centrifugal force was so great, he couldn't move his body. So he says to Hustis, hey, man, how fast were we going, Pat? jams on the brakes. He says, look, Fraker, I hocked my house to build this car. I'm the best goddamn driver in Hollywood. You're as safe as in your mama's arms. He says, okay. He says, yeah, but please tell me how fast we were going. 130 miles an hour. Do you feel better? Well, they got the shots, and, and even more so, um, the whole chase scene, which was engineered by a guy named Galen Schultz, who was the key grip on the movie, they came up with these camera mounts. They put the camera exactly at eye level, and people that were watching this film in movie theaters threw up some of them because they were going up and down on these bumps and it was great action, never been done before. <laughs> was about showing Steve McQueen doing the driving. So Galen, along with Bill Fraker, figured out these camera mounts um, that showed McQueen with his hands on the wheel. And then when they used a stunt double for some of the super, super dangerous stuff, they tweaked the rearview mirror. <laughs> 